Thank you for your purchase of the Flag Hat by Next Generation Lighting. This revolutionary product is your new solution to the old problem of how to put light on your flag. Installing the Flag Hat is a simple and straightforward process. To do this, you'll need a drill with a 5 16 inch bit, a tape measure, electrical tape, fish tape, and electrical conduit tubing. Installing the flag hat works the same for both brand new pole installations as well as poles that have already been installed. If you are working with a pole that is already installed, you'll first need to remove the ball and truck from the top of the pole. To do this, you'll either need a lift to get to the top of your pole, or you'll need to remove your pole from the ground. We recommend that you remove the pole, which is the method we show in this video. To get power to the flag hat, a hole needs to be drilled through the truck like this. With the ball separate from the truck, drill an 11 64th inch hole in the top of the truck that matches the wire that comes out of the flag hat. Feed the flag hat wire through the hole. Securely assemble the flag hat in between the truck and the ball. Then screw down the ball tight. This is what it should look like. You need to prepare the ground next to the pole for the flag hat wire you will be running to your electrical source. Dig a trough about six inches deep for the wire to lay in. Be careful as you remove the grass. Cut a couple of one and a half foot lengths of electrical conduit tubing. Using duct tape, securely attach one of the pieces of tubing to the flagpole's ground sleeve like this. This is meant to temporarily hold the tubing in place. Carefully replace your grass over the middle of the tubing and then pour in a little bit of concrete mixed with water to further secure the conduit to the ground sleeve. Now you can bury the tubing. Press the dirt down firmly and replace the grass. Now you need to measure the distance the pole will sit in the ground sleeve. Using this measurement, drill a 5 16 inch wire hole. Rock and or ream your drill as to minimize possible sharp edges created when drilling. This hole will be placed just above the top of the ground sleeve. At this height on the pole, the wire hole will be hidden by your flagpole's collar when it is fully installed. Next, you will be running the fish tape up the pole through the hole you just drilled all the way to the top. At the end of the fish tape, securely connect the flag hat wire using electrical tape. Now you can reel in the fish tape, pulling the wire down the pole. Pull the wire through the hole you just drilled, being careful not to cut the wire on the edges of the pole, and detach it from the fish tape. With the wire now pulled through the pole, you can attach the truck with the flag hat and the ball on top of it to the top of the pole. When the truck is secure, go ahead and prepare the flagpole for use as you would in a normal installation. Notice when you set the pole in the ground that the wire is coming out of the pole exactly where it needs to be. To get the wire securely protected in the ground, run the fish tape into the other end of the conduit tubing until it comes out through the end next to the ground sleeve. You can attach the wire again using electrical tape and then reel the wire through the tubing. When it is through, pull the rest of the wire through the conduit. Once you have completed your flagpole's installation, making sure the flagpole is level and sealed off, you can lower the collar. This effectively hides the wire coming out of the pole. Now, using the trough that you dug, you can hide the rest of the wire all the way to your power source. You do need to make sure you have enough wire to get to your power source. As you lay the wire, replace the dirt and grass in their appropriate spots. Now is the time to do your final wiring. If you have chosen the hardwire version of the flag hat, we recommend you have an electrician wire it to the best suitable power source using the power supply enclosed in your kit. If you have chosen the plug and play option of the flag hat, 
First, slide your heat shrink over either side of the wire. Next, attach one wire from the power supply to the flag hat wire. Firmly crimp the butt connector. Repeat this procedure over the other wire. And then you can slide the heat shrink back over the connectors and heat it with a hair dryer or lighter to shrink it over the connection. Your flag hat is now ready to be plugged into your power outlet.